and welcome to another session on triangles as you know we are going through a series of sessions where we are dealing with different similarity criteria for two given triangles so in this session we are going to take up the third similarity criterion and that is sas similarity criterion now what does the statement say it says if in two triangles one pair of corresponding sides are proportional and the included angle so let me highlight this word included angle angles are equal then the two triangles are similar okay so let me first try and make you understand what this theorem is and then we'll go for the proof let's say we have a triangle abc and let me draw exactly similar triangle okay so here is the triangle i will paste it so i'll get another one another triangle so let me just position them in such a way that it becomes easier to grasp the points yeah so let's say this is one triangle and this one is another one so let me shift it to this side and this one is yes so these are the two triangles let me name them and the names are a a b c and this one is d e n f they are similar triangles okay now what's given given is given is this that uh two uh, one pair of corresponding sides are proportional pair of sides are proportional meaning a b by d e is equal to a c upon df it's given and included angle now that hence i highlighted this word included included means the angle between the uh, the two sides which are proportional okay so hence in this case this angle is the included angle so ab and ac i'm taking see ab and ac are the sides which are proportional to the corresponding sides of the other triangle so hence this angle is equal to this angle okay so this is given and what is to prove we have to prove that they are similar so we have to prove to prove that triangle abc abc is similar to triangle def okay this is what we intend to prove how to go about it so obviously whatever we have learned so far especially the two other similarity criteria or rather three where in triple a double a and sss similarity criteria we have already understood and we have also seen basic proportionality theorem and its application so probably any of these combinations of theorems will be helpful in achieving this result as well so like we have been doing we will do another construction here as well and the construction will be exactly similar what i am going to do is i am going to take up points e dash and f dash such that ab is equal to de dash and ac is equal to d f dash and e dash f dash are joined okay are joined so let me join e dash f dash okay the picture is clear fair enough now what so if you join them and we now very clearly know that uh, triangles abc and triangle let's say d e dash f dash let's pick up these two triangles we know what do we know ab is equal to de by construction by construction is it similarly angle a is equal to angle d this is given and dear friends we also have ac is equal to d f dash this is again by construction so then very clear it is that these two triangles are congruent so therefore i am writing it here therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle d e dash f dash the moment i say that what do i get 
I get BC is equal to E dash F dash first of all that and also also we can see we can we can uh, we can say that uh, so since a b by d e was equal to a c by d f therefore we can say i can replace a b here by d e dash because that's what i constructed and i can replace a c by so i can replace a b by d e dash and here i can replace a c by d f dash right so what do i get i will get and i'm writing it here okay so let us conclude here so the moment i say that i can say that e dash f dash is parallel to e f this is by converse of bpt no doubts about it right so that's done by converse of bpt so what do we get we get that angle d e dash f dash that is this angle x is going to be equal to this angle x is equal to angle e let me write that okay and already it was given that angle b or we had established that angle b was equal to angle d e dash f dash y congruent parts of congruent triangles right therefore we can conclude angle b is equal to angle e angle b is equal to angle e also angle a was angle b given already given therefore folks we can establish that triangle abc is similar to triangle d e f and that's exactly what we wanted to establish right so this is another similarity criterion that the two triangle two sides and the included angle again please pay attention if the sides let me write it over here if the sides are a b let's say this was given a b by d e is equal to b c by is equal to b c by e f is given and angle b is equal to angle e will be the included angle in this case s a s criteria will hold s a s criteria will hold but but let's say a b by d e is given to be equal to b c upon e f but it's given that angle a is equal to angle d let's say this is given this is not sas criteria because the angle is not included angle is because the angle is not included right so let me write it here because the angle is not included angle the angle is not a not an included angle so please keep this in mind only when the angle is included between the sides then this criteria will hold otherwise it will not hold it will we will require for some other criteria to be fulfilled before we can establish that the two triangles are similar i hope you understood this similarity criterion okay